If you do go on to enjoy today's video, do me a favor and hit that like button and of course subscribe. It really does help me out a lot. And if you want to avoid the random lottery that is FIFA points, you can go straight to the source with u7buy.com. And of course, you can use the code TVM at checkout to get yourself a discount. What is going on guys, TVM here. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to try something that I haven't done properly for a while. I did try a career mode uh, at the very beginning of FIFA 20. Uh, with Bolton Wanderers, as you can see the settings that we're going to be playing on there. If it gets too easy, I will bump it up to world class, but I didn't want every game to be nil-nil. So I'll put it on world class for now. Um, with that being said, uh, I, I like I said, I, I did start a career mode at the very beginning of FIFA 20. It didn't do particularly well. In fact, it took months to get to the view level that I would be happy to continue at. But I thought, given the current state of, of, of certain things, you know, real-world football, for example, being cancelled left, right, and centre, uh, we've got Ultimate Team and, and gameplay in a state of... Uh, I don't know what what the word is, but you know it's, it's not a, it's not really in a great place. So I'm not gonna I'm gonna continue with the ultimate team stuff. Of course I am, but I thought let's go into single player mode where the gameplay doesn't feel that bad because single player gameplay has its issues, but it's absolutely nowhere near as bad as online gameplay for me personally in ultimate team. Anyway, I enjoy playing this game offline. Squad battles, to a degree, I do enjoy playing, but the rewards are not really good enough for the, the time put into it. And I wanted some sort of goal, you know? I wanted to be just controlling one player and, and trying to build a career. Now, I love Football Manager, but no one really wants to watch Football Manager, unfortunately. It, it's not really a spectator game. Well, it is, but not for me personally, not, not on this channel. So, I thought, let's dive into a career mode. Now, I've made a player. His name is Bruno De Gradi. You'd have seen him being built and played so far. That's his first um, uh, first career goal, albeit in a preseason friendly. So I don't think it would actually count as his actual first career goal. But still, um, the reason I've called him Bruno De Gradi, uh, some of you may know, most of you probably won't. There was a TV show back in 1998, showing my age now. And it was called Renford Rejects. It was absolutely fantastic. It was peak peak kids TV, but it was basically about these uh, five or six kids uh, who were not very good at football, but they they had their own team, and they were called Renford Rejects, so they were basically rejects from other teams in their, um, in their town, and they built a team, they were awful, they weren't very good at all, but every now and again, they would have the like the game of their lives and they would score and win the game and they had a player who his real name is Barry Grade but he used to call himself Bruno De Gradi and he used to claim he was Italian he used to speak with a fake Italian accent it sounds pathetic when I'm saying it like this I do I appreciate that but it was absolutely brilliant anyway that's the story behind Bruno De Gradi uh, I've actually made him Italian in this maybe I should have made him English for a bit of uh bit of banter but no I did make him Italian we've, we've started with Dortmund the reason I wanted to start with Dortmund really is because it's a club that I feel like may give you an opportunity as a youngster I know I'm kind of maybe looking at this from a real life point of view and this is FIFA but it has actually rang true now I not play career mode uh, or at least play a career mode this year at all so I don't know whether this is the same with everyone but I played it back in well I've played it in every FIFA to a certain extent it's been getting less and less as we progress through but uh, in every FIFA that I've ever played and had a player career, they always send you out on loan every single time. I can't remember the last time I played a player career and they didn't send me out on loan, unless, of course, I've started at a team like Newport County in, in League 2. But I started with Dortmund, fully expecting to be loaned out, but I thought, well, if I get loaned out, maybe I'll be loaned into a championship team or something. But as it transpires, I've not been loaned out at all. I had a, a pretty good pre-season. Uh, some games were, were better than others. But, for the most part at least, I mean this game went straight to penalties, this was the most boring game I've ever played. Uh, but either way, we missed our penalty, but then so did everybody else. But we've had a pretty good pre-season, and the manager keeps selecting me. So, or selecting Bruno, I've got to, got to stop saying me, it's Bruno, I'm effectively the manager, without control. I'm his, I'm his agent, right, let's just let's put it that way, I'm his agent, there you go, that makes more sense. So... Uh, what I've decided to do here is I've skipped through all the preseason stuff. I've just shown you this in one video. This is the opening video. So what is in this is the whole preseason tournament. Then we go into the Super Cup. I think it's like the, the, the well, I don't know the actual name of it, but 
Um, oh, and s something to mention before we talk about that. We've signed Jamie Vardy. Now, obviously, that's not me. That's the, the Dortmund team. They've, uh, the, the manager, they've gone out and they've signed Jamie Vardy. Because, you know, Haaland, Sancho, Bruno de Grady, uh, who else have they got in there? You know, they, they're not enough. They needed they needed Jamie Vardy as well as those. Marco Royce, for example. They've got some, Mario Goetz is still there. They've got so many. We're starting with, like, four strikers in every game, which is um, really sending... Uh, Dixon on a on a mad one. He, he can't understand why we start so many attacking players. I'll tell you why, because we can't stop buying strikers. Uh, anyway, I digress. So, uh, yeah, we got the German Cup in here against Bayern, and then the opening day of the season as well. Now, I don't know after today whether this will continue um, as a channel series, uh, whether if, if it doesn't get... Um, if it doesn't get the reception I'm hoping it, it gets, then unfortunately it's just not financially viable for me to keep uploading it because obviously it takes... This is a lot of time yesterday. It took me to play all these games. A good few hours it took me to play and then I had to literally sit there because I didn't write anything down. So I had to sit there and edit the whole thing down. That took me quite a while as well. So it's a long process making a career mode. Um, it's not as easy as just jumping online and doing a player review. You have to put a little bit more into it so uh, if if the views aren't there unfortunately then this may not continue I have got a patreon that I really am looking to upload some exclusive content to so I may end up pushing it over there if there's enough interest for me to continue it but that is a big if because that is um, it's not I don't want to put it behind a paywall but if it's just not getting the views and it's only getting like minimal views on the channel then it's not financially viable for me to continue it and um, Unfortunately, it may end up having to be a Patreon thing, or it may just end up being scrapped altogether. But if you uh, if you do want to enjoy it and you have enjoyed it so far, and you want to see the journey of Bruno de Gradi, whether it be in Dortmund or elsewhere, we'll have to see what happens with the remainder of the season. I'm not seeing whether I've been selected for the uh, second game of the season yet, because the first game of the season we're about to play after the Bayern game, and that doesn't really go according to plan as far as Bruno is concerned. But a lot of you may be looking at this. We're beating uh, Bayern Munich two goals now, three goals to nil. You might be thinking, well, it's too easy. But the problem with it is it's not too easy because I've only scored one goal. I've been, I think I was involved in all three. We'll see in just a second because I've been showing you these little screens at the end. So, yeah, I was involved in all three goals. One goal, two assists. And I played a 9.3 there, fantastic. And I think that's the game that got me, uh, sorry, got Bruno. I, I will remember, I promise. Uh, got Bruno selected. Uh, for the start of the season. So this is match day one against uh, Augsburg. But it doesn't start very well, unfortunately. Um, good save from Berkey there. Um, error in the defence. And then Hazard commits uh, an atrocity to end all atrocities. I mean, that is criminal. He And I'll show you a replay from the um, the reverse angle in a second. I don't know why he's outraged, to be honest. I mean, look at the state. He just goes in, takes him out, and gives away a penalty. Manager is pissed. Anyway... They end up missing the penalty because apparently no one in this game knows how to take penalties. Like that penalty should have had earlier against, was it Arsenal? I think only, I think there was like 13 penalties or 15 penalties taken altogether. Or 16 obviously was an even number. But um, only like three were actually scored. It, it was crazy. Uh, corner comes in here. I've gone deep for it. It does come out, uh, sorry, to Bruno. And he uh, goes for goal, but unfortunately it doesn't really work out. But look at this from Jamie Vardy. Little flick and bang. He's done that about three times in pre-season. Opening day of the season, bangs it in. Haaland, by the way, can't get a look in. They've just signed him for God knows how much money. And he is in the squad because he's been selected for a couple of pre-season games. But he's just not getting picked right now. And they've gone out and bought Jamie Vardy. Like, what message does that send to your brand new, you know, budding striker Erling Haaland? I don't know. And where does that leave Bruno? I have absolutely no idea. But that... Is the question I want to answer. Are we, or is Bruno, going to get to stay at Dortmund and fight for his place? Is he only going to be selected for cup games? As you can see, he wasn't the best of opening days of the season. No goals, no assists. Not really involved in an awful lot. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. If you want to see more from Bruno de Gradi, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And until the next time, hopefully, goodbye. Football Index. The game changed. Download the app now.